Well, this is Snooker's version of El Clasico. Not only two all-time greats, but crucially two players still very much at the top of the game. The world number three, Ronnie O'Sullivan, and the world number four, John Higgins, both winners of this champion, a champion's title. Thank you, the first frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. The only man who's got more titles than these two is sat next to me. Looking forward to this one, Stephen. Yeah, this is pretty much as good as it gets tonight. It's just probably a little bit unfortunate that this is at the start of the week and not at the end. More than worthy of a final of any event. If you go and play from this afternoon, you'd have to make Ronnie a slight favourite. What was unusual about John Higgins, although he had back-to-back -back centuries, the amount of unforced errors he made in that match was very unlike him. Can't afford them tonight, it goes without saying. What was interesting, I think, about O'Sullivan was he was really ultra-attacking, he was really aggressive. Some of the shots he played were a little all or nothing, but he had the two centuries in a row. The question of whether he'll play that all-out game against Higgins. It's a little bit the mutual appreciation society with these two. They both are very much respect and admire the other. Slightly got away with that in terms of the red in the middle of the table. A very fast table, this Rasson table. Yeah, John Higgins actually commented on it in his post-match interview how fast the react of the cloth was. Oh, now that is a, what you call a wide. That does not fill you with confidence as your first attempt at a pot in a match. Both players started very slowly in their matches this afternoon. Another interesting aspect of tonight's match will be who wins these safety battles because both players are outstanding in that department. Probably along with Mark Selby, the best in the business. Lining up to possibly be a scrappy frame with the, where the black is. I think blue and pink are in the open. But the black is where these players want to be. I think that cue ball's just edged out far enough to leave a red to the far right corner. Looked at first that it was going to be safe. here top spin into the bunch of reds and free the pink spot my the cue balls actually held the pink spot and well that reds come over very nicely it's got a choice of two to the right corner and maybe not so easy to manufacture the cue ball though he's gonna have to seven screw this cue ball through the reds almost 
Eight. Yeah, sell for that. That's perfection. Higgins just looking to get going this season. He was saying in Crawley that took the world final defeat pretty badly to Mark Williams because, of course, it was two in a row, having lost to Selby last year and just didn't really have the enthusiasm. But he'd be bang up for this tonight. How could he not be playing Ronnie O'Sullivan 40. in this big tournament? This might just get him going if he can come through. 50. first played professionally against each other 24 years ago. <coughs> 21. Well, the way the reds are situated 22. around the pink, you shouldn't see the, the cue ball travel very far at all. If John Higgins is to make a frame winning break here, just a series of little stun screws, little slow follow throughs. Certainly no cue power required in this break, just a nice touch, but you've got to concentrate on the pot. John Higgins, oh, 22. It's just an incredible miss. Again, it's one of those unforced errors. Just no explanation. For missing this. Very unusual. One. Six. Seven. Remember, Ronnie O'Sullivan has never not reached the final of this tournament. He's won it twice, he's been runner-up twice. Thirty. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty one. Pretty much carbon copy of the pink that John Higgins missed. And 27. Watching it again, it's just incredible how, how players of this standard can miss 28. such easy pots. It seems incredible to think, but if you're not concentrating, you can miss anything. And John did say in his interview, if he misses the shots or plays the shots he played this afternoon, he would lose heavily tonight. So 34. I hope that's the last of those unforced errors. 35. Yeah, of course, it was 6-0 to O'Sullivan at this stage last year. His first attempt at a pot in this frame was well wide. But he was given another chance. Forty one. So after this red, I don't know if the red that's closest to the black spot goes to right corner. Forty seven. 
After this red, this is when things get a little bit more difficult. Forty. Be dead straight in this pink. Just off straight, me force the cue ball through and can in the black here. That's what he played. Didn't quite get the black. Cannon's a black fool in the face. He's got a choice of two reds. 54. <laughs> 55. Well, he's going to need another red. So it's all about this next shot. Yeah, he can play a cannon in the black again. If he misses it, he's still going to be on the red that's closest to the cushion. And he's got too much in at the cue ball. 57. So 35 the difference, 43 on. So John Higgins still with some hope in this first frame. Roy O'Sullivan, 57. in the green, Ronnie would have been snookered on these two reds. Can get to the edge. He's caught it thick. It's okay. This red does go to left corner, but John's not even giving it a second glance. So try and keep it tight. Try and force a better opportunity from his opponent. He may choose to play cushion first here. Yeah, he's coming to look at it because that way he can't leave the red that's to the left of the table on. He's going to catch this right. He's going to catch it thicker than half ball at least. Mm, that's a problem. Got the red too thin. And that's cost him the first frame. Yeah, the really costly error for Higgins, of course, was that pink he missed when he was in, and he can't afford those tonight. Came completely out of nowhere. Yeah, he's done all the hard work. Got all the reds into a really good position. I say it was the simplest of breaks to try and win the first frame. And just completely took his eye off the pot. Eight. Ten. <coughs> Thirteen. Seventeen. 
Well, it's the latest chapter 22. of one of Snooker's great rivalries. 64th meeting between Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins. It was a pink that Higgins 22. missed that turned and the tide in the open frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan made 57, and he's got it again to play in first block. First to six to reach the semi-finals. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads John Higgins 1-0.